Hey fam, before we get rolling real quick, I just want to remind you guys about the 2A in LA 1K giveaway. That's right, your boy 2A in LA as a way of saying thank you to all my subscribers and supporters. I am willing to pay $1,000 towards your next gun purchase. Now, to check out all the rules, you got to check out the official rules down below, but essentially the, the, the requirements to be eligible for entry are very simple. One, you need to be a subscriber to the channel. Two, you need to be a follower on Instagram. And three, you have to have a minimum $25 purchase, excluding shipping and taxes, at the official 2A in LA store. That's it, fam. Now, if you want to increase your odds on winning, for every $25, excluding taxes and shipping, that you buy on the store, you get an additional entry. That's not required. It's just a way to increase your chances on reaching the 1K. So look, fam, like I said, all the official rules are down below. Help me help you, fam. I'm doing all these reviews of all these dope guns. Let me buy you one. <laughs> Let me buy you one. Okay, fam? Thanks so much, and let's get the episode rolling. Two-way in LA family, what's good with you? Look, fam, as always, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes and future episodes. It's just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, real quick, I'm going to ask you to go ahead, hit that like button for me. All right. Is that too much to ask for your boy? Just tap it. It's a quick tap and tap, tap, tap. All right. And if you are new to the channel, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and subscribe. I think you are going to enjoy the content. And if you don't, you can always unsubscribe later. No muss, no fuss. All right. And if you're an existing subscriber, fam, I just want to say how much I appreciate you and thank you for continuing to come back and support your boy. All right. Let's get this rolling, fam. 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 Y'all know how I feel about a full-size pistol. There is something about a full-size pistol, fam, that is a game changer for your boy. I can't front on that. So look, fam, today is about one, is about a pistol that comes from a manufacturer that I highly respect, uh, and I own several of their firearms, and they do a phenomenal job. And of course, I am talking about the P226 Extreme. So I'm gonna let you guys check that out. If you can see the detail on the grips, and this is a totally stock gun, other than the Olight on the front, I've made no uh, modifications to it. You know, the gun is free and clear. Check the wrong, point in a safe direction. No, no, no issues, right? Okay, so look fam, let's talk about this firearm. The P226 is chambered in nine millimeter. I will put up some of the detail specs on the gun up there. Um, and those are all easily accessible. So I don't like to spend a lot of time on that stuff uh, during the view because what you really got, what you guys really wanted to know is about the gun. And so look, fam, there's a couple things about this gun. And I'll start with the fact, and this I apologize to the people who are not based in California. Uh, but if you are based in California, you guys know that the California gun roster is archaic. Uh, it's very hard to find quality firearms on it. You should be, you should feel very good that the P226 Extreme is California legal. And so if you are looking for an on roster firearm, 
a full size firearm that checks all the boxes. Wow, <laughs> this this gun checks all the boxes. Six hours, phenomenal uh, manufacturer. So let's talk about the gun itself. Look, fam, the fit and finish on the firearm is phenomenal. And I've told you guys many times there's something about a full size handgun that does something to me down deep in my soul. And so, look, it allows you, the, the ducktail allows you to get a high grip, which allows you to really be able to control the firearm. The trigger is a fine trigger. And I, I should also mention it's a hammer fire gun, uh, not a striker fire pistol. Uh, but let me see if I can show you guys the trigger. This is the best way to do it. Maybe this way is better. So you've got a you got a little creep to a very defined wall. And here's your reset. Right? So look fam, I I I will do, I'll show you a pull test on the uh, on the trigger. Like I said, it has a little creep, um, but it's more of a duty pistol, so you'd expect that a little bit. It has a very defined wall, a crisp break, and a quick reset. And so, um, it's a solid trigger. I don't think, you know, fam, I tell you, a lot of times I get these guns and the trigger is so spongy and junky and crunchy that... You know, it's just a non-starter for me. Uh, if I like everything else about the gun except the trigger, I'll change out the trigger. The fact that I have not changed out this trigger is a testament to how good I think it is. Uh, the gun is well balanced. The weight is evenly distributed. Um, it's a it's a steel frame gun, and again, so uh, it, it it that helps mitigate. The recoil, yeah fam, I, I love uh, the P226 Extreme. For those of you guys who are considering the Extreme versus say uh, the Legion, I, I think both guns are great. There's a price differential uh, between the two and I'll put up the two MSRPs there. So you have to just decide if the additional money is worth it. But I tell you what, if you get the Extreme, you will not be disappointed from a looks perspective, from a uh, shooting perspective. It's a great gun. Obviously, you've got your rail up front so you can put your uh, weapons light on it. All in all, fam, I say the P226 Extreme is an excellent option, whether you're in or out of California. But if you're in California, look, fam, in terms of a, a, a on-roster handgun, hard to beat this. Really hard to beat this. All right? Until next time, family, as always, I want you to take care of one another and peace.